Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, back again for another NHL 16 Hockey Ultimate Team Team Build. As today, we are going to be starting up our theme-specific team builds now that we finished up all of our league-specific builds. And I'm going to be throwing a little bit of a cool little twist slash challenge on all of these theme builds. Make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of the video to find out about that little cool little challenge slash giveaway that I will be doing along with all these builds. But I thought what better way to start off these theme specific builds now by making a team entirely made up of enforcers. So these are the highest enforcers that you can get in the game as of right now. There are a bunch of free agents, uh, free agent enforcers in the game that obviously are locked right now. I don't know if they're ever going to be releasing the, those free agent cards into the game or not, but for right now, this is the highest or the best enforcer build that you guys can build in this game. I opted not to use any special cards for the roster players with the exception of one, which you guys can probably see right now, but there are a few, there's only two other players that I think you can upgrade on this team and we'll get to them when we do get to them. But without further ado, let's move into uh, the players here in the roster. Actually, before I start, and there's not really going to be much gameplay along with this these theme specific builds, as I just mentioned, because I'm going to be throwing a little bit of a twist slash challenge along with these theme builds. Remember, these are mainly cosmetic builds, but if you guys want to go use this build, feel free to do so. But Let's go over the roster here. First line, we are going to have Frazier McLaren, Anthony Peluso, and Brian McGratton. So this team is entirely made up of a gold, silver, and non-gold, non-gold rare, non-silver rare players, as you guys can see. But McLaren, 89 for checking. Peluso, 88 for checking. McGratton, 91 for checking. Mainly, I'm just going to be showing you guys their checking stats and their height and weights. 6'5", 230, 6'3", 235, 6'4", 235 on those three players right there. Not a bad little first line for you. Obviously, there's not many centers for as uh, center enforcers either, so you are going to have to change position some players to center if you do want to use this team. There's only one, which you guys will get to on the fourth line. But second line, we're gonna have Biz Nasty, Paul Bissonette, Patrick Bordalo, and Zach Stortini. So Biz Nasty and Stortini stuck in the AHL right now, but Biz Nasty 88 checking, Bordalo 86, Stortini 90 for checking. 6'2", 216 on Biz Nasty, 6'6", 225 on Bordalo, and then Stortini, 6'4", 215. So, not too bad on those three players. Third line, we got the All-Star, the All-Star Game MVP, Mr. John Scott, Stephen McIntyre, and Nick Tarnaski. So, big John Scott, 93 checking, obviously, 6'8", uh, 260. Stephen McIntyre, 88 for his checking. Uh, 6'5", 250, and then Nick Tarnaski, who was actually the only silver center enforcer, I think last year or the year before that, 86 skating, 6'2", 230, not a center anymore, he's uh, obviously a left winger, but a little interesting fact there for you guys. And then on the fourth line, we got the uh, Lehigh Valley Phantom, Jay Rosehill, Stanislav Horansky, and Luke Gazdick, so... Karansky, this year is the only center enforcer in the entire game. Uh, six, six foot, 185, so he might be a little bit of a short player and not really, you know, a lot of weight on him, but he can certainly butt heads with some players in the National League. Jay Rosehill, 6'3", uh, 250, and then Luke Gazdick, 6'4", 233. So there's your entire team of forward enforcers. Obviously, they could check pretty well, but they're going to be pretty slow and... You know, a lot of a weight to them, so they're not going to be skating too fast or uh, have much agility. But if you line them up for a really good hit against some smaller players, they're going to be hard to knock off the puck, that's for damn sure. And, uh, yeah, laying the boom stick, especially with all these checking categories. It's going to be it's gonna be fun if you ever use these guys for forwards. Moving on to the defense now. Actually, I forgot one thing before I mentioned here. Like I said, I was not using special cards, but John Scott does have two variations of his all-star game card. You guys can feel free to upgrade to whichever one you want if you want to do so. Obviously, there's the All-Star Game Scott that I believe has 99 checking on him. There's one that I think has maybe 96 or 97 on him. So you can obviously opt to upgrade whatever one you so choose. But as we move on to the defense here, we got Andrew, Mac, William, and Radko Gudas. 
Same thing with John Scott. Rakugudas, I believe, has one or two Team of the Weeks so far this year. So you can obviously upgrade Gudas to his Team of the Week version if you so choose. Gudas, 6'4", 204. Mac Williams, 6'2", 230. Next pair, we got Brennan Evans and Stu Bickle. Uh, 87 and 87 uh, checking on both of these guys. Brennan Evans, 6'4", 230. Bickle, 6'4", 207. And then on the last pair, we have a familiar face. Ken Capera, who was actually a part of our highest overall Sim Liga team build. So he makes his return onto the team 6'209. We all have to go through his stats. And then we also have Matt Pelich from the uh, Dell League here, 6'4, 230 with 88 checking. Now, I opted to use one special card on this team. And if you're going to have a team full of enforcers, you can't have it without putting Ray Emery on the team. His 88 overall flashback card. I haven't tried him out so far this year, but 6'2", 196, obviously, uh, he can fight, as you guys saw from a couple years ago when the Flyers and the Capitals faced off in that 7 0 beatdown. Ramory kicked the living crap out of Braden Holtby. I also opted to throw Michael Layton in there as the uh, backup 10, just because I know he had a pretty good fight with Cam Ward, and I think it was rated in like the top 20 uh, NHL fights or goaltender fights of all time. So I opted to throw him in there just because... I put Samuels in there just to give the guys some more skating stats, but I know there is a silver coach in there that you can throw uh, plus three checking on that, so you could have some guys really lay down the boom with the checking staff you so choose, but I wanted to get them in there for extra speed because uh, speed is everything in this game. But that is the team made up entirely of enforcers as Turbo Mode has indeed activated. But as we uh, the video is now over, now it's time to talk to you guys about the little twist slash challenge that I'm going to be throwing uh, into all these theme specific team builds. Now, as I had mentioned, I'm not going to be throwing gameplay along with all these team builds because they're mostly for cosmetic region reasons, but the challenge is not going to be for cosmetic re reasons. It's going to be for gameplay. Now, what I want you guys to do is I'm not going to be having these giveaways on YouTube. Uh, it's mainly going to be. If you have Twitter, you're going to benefit from this a hell of a lot. But what I want you guys to do is after the video is over, after you guys leave a like, you leave a comment and you subscribe as always, I want you guys to go out there and try to build as close as possible to the team that I have set up for you guys. You can do whatever you wish. You can change team every player over if you want. You can buy the upgrades for Scott and uh, good ass or uh, other players as you see fit you can interchange some interchange some players I just want you guys to go out into a hot game build this team win a game and be the first person to show me that you won the game now like I said it doesn't have to be this exact team that I have put in front of you guys but if you do that props to you um, I just want to see how many how many of you guys can actually recreate some of these builds and be successful with the build as well so obviously you can do whatever you want you can change position players over you can change team them over for extra chemistry does not matter to me i just want you guys to be whoever is the first person to create this team either word for word either player for player or as close as possible as you can win a hut game doesn't matter what division you guys are in if you can win a game with it that's all that matters to me and be the first person to show me on twitter now when i mean be the first person to show me on twitter i need two pictures from you guys I want to have I want to see the final score of the game and I also want to see the box score of your team so obviously you guys can do that pretty easily you go to uh, once the game is over you just show all stats for the game go to the box score and show me the, your entire list of players that you have entered in the game just so I know that you guys uh, had proof of using all these enforcers in that game so that's all I want you guys to do Create this team work as closely as possible as you can. Play out hut game. Doesn't matter what division you're in. Win the game. Show me the final score of the game that you won and the box score. And that will get you guys, the winner, a hut prize. Depending on how, depending on what team I built for you guys and asked you to recreate. That'll uh, obviously vary the type of reward I send to you guys. So... I think for this is an enforcer build, as I just mentioned. I think uh, the giveaway card that I'll do is I think I'll give away that uh, All Star Game John Scott because that is 
uh, the obviously the echelon of enforcer type cards in this game. So if you do end up winning or uh, being the first person to send me that, I'll send you that John Scott and maybe I'll send you this uh, flat, the flashback Ray Emery as well if there's are none on the market, which I believe the, the one that I picked up for this team mill was the only one on the market. So uh, hopefully there will be more up on Xbox One. If there's some up on PS4, those guys will obviously benefit from it greater. But like I said, that's all it is. There's the team build and there's the challenge that I have set out for you guys. So hopefully this will be a little bit more fun and interactive way to do team builds with you guys to show you something, you know, pretty cool and then give you an incentive to create it and try to be the first one to win a game with it and uh, send it to me on Twitter and, you know, get yourself a nice little hot reward. So Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. As always, let me know if you have used any of these players uh, previously before you attempt that challenge. Also, leave in the comment section, guys, different types of themes for team builds that you guys would like to see me build for future videos. Obviously, we have this full enforcer team build right here. Uh, give me some other suggestions for theme-specific builds that we could do. It can be absolutely anything, you guys. Uh, suggest it could be like some it could be some mustaches it could be some beards it could be ugly looking players it could be short players it could be tall players it does not matter to me whatever you guys want leave it in the comment section down below and I will do my best to create it since I want to do this for the next couple of months while we wait for NHL 16 and while we get through team of the year and the Stanley Cup playoffs and all that fun stuff with hockey so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and Get cracking on those challenges. Remember, box score and the final score of the game. Send them to me on Twitter. Twitter link is in the description. And hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.